Since we have already discussed the thyroid gland and its hormones, now in this video we will be discussing about thyroid regulation, how these thyroid hormones are getting produced and secreted and how negative feedback comes into action. Let's find out in this video. You know this thyroid gland is under the control of pituitary gland. Being an endocrine gland, it needs some signals from pituitary gland which in turn is under the control of hypothalamus. So thyroid regulation is some sort of a hormone cascade pathway in which there are a series of hormone stimulations. So first of all we see there is a stimulus needed for a hypothalamus to make its a releasing factor. So when there is a stimulus like in the form of serum thyroid levels drop. So when there is stimulus like serum thyroid levels drop the hypothalamus always intervenes here to stabilize the body functions as hypothalamus is considered link between endocrine and nervous system by which it maintains homeostasis. This signal is then transmitted to hypothalamus via sensory neuron. The sensory neuron takes the signal to paraventricular nucleus of hypothalamus where parvocellular neurosecretory cells of hypothalamus secretes thyrotropin releasing factor that's TRH sometimes also called as thyrotropin releasing hormone. Then this TRH that is thyrotropin releasing hormone will have a stimulatory effect on pituitary gland. TRH travels across the median eminence to the anterior pituitary gland via hypophysial portal system. So through this it stimulates the release of thyroid stimulating hormone that is TSH. And this TSH is being made from the cells called thyrotrophs present in pituitary gland, anterior pituitary gland. TSH then ultimately gets into the blood circulation and reaches the target site which is the thyroid gland. Within the thyroid gland there are thyroid follicular cells which have majority of TSH receptors. They receive the signal of TSH and transduce this signal. There are several steps which leads to stimulation like upregulation of activity of sodium iodine as importer on vasolateral membrane of follicular cells. Then there is iodine trapping and many more which finally leads to formation of T3 and T4 and the secretion of T4 and T3 occurs across basolateral membrane of follicular cells. This T4 that's thyroxine hormone it has got slight effect on metabolism therefore T4 is converted to triiodothyronine that's T3 form which is active hormone that stimulates metabolism. The presence of normal levels of thyroid hormone in the blood circulation gives negative feedback. The feedback is given to pituitary while it stops the release of thyroid stimulating hormone and the feedback is also given to hypothalamus which stops the production of releasing factor. When TSH hormone is not getting released there is no stimulation of thyroid gland to stimulate the production of thyroid hormone. So this is how this negative feedback comes into action and the whole process of thyroid regulation. I hope you like this video. If you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.